gerrymandering. Well, allegedly, ito ang mangyayari ngayon sa Palawan that the island will be divided into three parts. Palawan Norte, Palawan Oriental, and Palawan Sur. But ano nga bang gerrymandering na ito? Ito ang ibig sabihin ng gerrymandering. Nangyayari ito pag binabagong borders ng isang lugar in order to be in favor of a specific political group or figures. For example, if majority or karamihan ng mga supporters mo ay nakalocate sa east ng specific province or region, ang gagawin mo is you carve out a new political unit or district out of that in order to favor a specific group or a politician. For the past years, there have been multiple attempts to split specific provinces such as Isabela, Quezon, and Cebu, but all of these attempts failed in the plebiscites where the majority of constituents rejected such proposals. Now, back to Palawan. Keep in mind the politicians who filed for the split are strong allies of a certain political party. Most of the supporters of the bill claim that there will be better representation of the people if not dividing Palawan into three different parts. Kasi nga naman, for the same number of population, mas nadami yung mga ma-assign na public servants to address the concerns and needs of iba't ibang mga constituents across Palawan. And because each of the three provinces will have their own capital, mas mabilis yung delivery ng public services, particularly dun sa mga far-flung areas kasi hindi na kailangan duman sa isang central local government unit anymore. Pero bakit parang iba yung sentiments ng mga people of Palawan? Residents and civil groups say wala daw proper consultation with the people bago nagkaroon ng filing ng proposals na yun. Kasi naman daw, hindi ito tamang solusyon dun sa iba't ibang problema ng Palawan such as environmental crisis and socioeconomic issues such as poverty and unemployment. At ito pa, for many experts, parang medyo fishy yung affair na yan. May suspicions about the real intention behind this attempt to split Palawan into three parts. Number one, Maging magastos yan dahil you need to build new institutions and new structures and new offices pag nagkaroon ng split in Palawan into three parts. And of course, more positions means more opportunity for corruption. Lastly, ayon kay Senator Riza Hintiveros, who was the only one who opposed the bill in the Senate, medyo delikado na magkakaroon ng split sa Palawan because that makes smaller local government units more susceptible to foreign manipulation and influence. Pero guys, ha, hindi pa naman final itong pagsisplate or division sa Palawan into three different parts. Antayin pang plebiscite on May 2020 where majority of Palawan residents have to vote in favor of the division bago ito ma-implement. But plot twist! Residents of Puerto Princesa City aren't even allowed to vote in the 2020 plebiscite and for candidates in the provincial elective positions. It's a provincial capital daw kasi, and as an independent city, hindi daw naman siya maapektuhan dun sa proposed division ng Palawan. Hmm. However, it is the Puerto Princesa residents who have been most vocal ever since against the proposed division. So before May 2020 comes, we have to really ask ourselves, para kanino talaga tong proposed division of Palawan na yan?